Hey guys, welcome back. I'm James Bowen. In this video, I'm gonna give you five simple to execute tips on how to be more productive throughout your day. All right, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're just joining me, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm James Bowen. Here on this channel, it has been a crazy involvement of different topics throughout the past year and a half, but now we are sticking to high performance productivity, energy, clarity, necessity, influence, courage, all these things that people need to do every single day to become a high performer in life, all right? I'm very passionate about this subject. I have Evernote notes that go back four or five years ago that talk about how to be more productive, how to be, have more energy, and this is something that I'm really passionate about, but I didn't have the courage, I didn't have the guts to pursue this career path four or five years ago. So now I am starting to close the gap between my life that I really wanna live and the life that I'm currently living. The vision between my higher self and the self that I'm currently being, I'm closing that gap. And by doing that, I've developed and summoned the courage that is required to go down this path. All right, so I appreciate you being here. The content plan for this channel is going to be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I'm going to be releasing new YouTube videos and every Monday and Wednesday, I'm going to be releasing live trainings. So you guys can come in, listen to what I have to say, ask questions if you need to, and get on with your day, all right? So without further ado, let's get into the five simple easy to execute strategies to help you become more productive. And first one is going to be sleep. <laughs> it's the easiest one that you guys can implement. You guys must be getting at least seven to eight hours of sleep per night, non-negotiable. And I know some of you say, I don't have time to sleep that long, well, it's necessary. Recovery is a productivity secret weapon, all right? Before you go to sleep, it's mandatory that you don't look at your phones or screens before an hour before bed, right? You have to get into a calm state that will help you get into a deep sleep so you can have maximum recovery hours, right? Another important thing is to sleep with all the lights off, super dark, ghost mode, right? The deeper that you can sleep, the longer that you can sleep, the better and rested and more energized you're gonna feel the next day. So sleep is, without a doubt, the easiest to implement and something that you can start right away without getting any extra things, all right? Number two, move around. Get some exercise, right? Of course, talk to your doctor uh, before starting a new fitness or exercise routine, but it's essential that you move around, get the endorphins pumping into your body. Um, endorphins are your body's naturally occurring opiates. They make you feel good. So first thing in the morning, if you exercise and move the body around, you have no choice but to feel happy. Another good thing about exercising and moving around is it jump starts your metabolism, helps you feel hungry and ready for the day, and that's always a good thing, all right? So three, self-reflection. And self-reflection is so, so important because it's as you go through your life and through your day and on the path to greatness or whichever you do, you're gonna need to take a look at what you've done and see if that's the right movement for you, if, see if you're on the right path, right? I mean, that's why people have GPSs in their cars. <laughs> you know, they punch in the coordinates that they want to get to, they start driving, they follow it, and then every once in a while, you have to look at that GPS to see if that's where you're going, all right? So, 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 so important. What I do for reflection is every morning, I start the day with a journal on how I'd like to start my day. Some of the questions will be, um, how do I want to act and perform today? What are three main things that I could do to take massive action that gets me closer to my goals, all right? What's one characteristic that I'd like to act to bring me closer to my inner self, all right? And then throughout the day, I'll have triggers that go off that remind me to take a look at how I'm acting, how I'm feeling, and then I'll make adjustments if necessary. So I just use my phone. I have notifications that set off with words that say, either confidence, enthusiasm, a generosity, all these things that remind me to be a certain way throughout the day, right? So you can set that up on your phone, just install some reminders, and that will come up every time your phone goes off, right? And the final thing that I do for self-reflection is I do journaling at night, almost like an evaluation, right? How did I do today, right? How was my enthusiasm today? And I'll set up these baselines, where a baseline is a rating system between one and five, right? And basically, you just give yourself a rating, how you did, right? Say you had uh, a two out of five enthusiasm today, 
right? Well, tomorrow you can try and get a three, right? And it shows you measurable progress, and that's really, really good to have. It gives you a real live result on how you're doing, and it allows you to track your progress so you can get better and move forward tomorrow, right? So, self-reflection, very, very important. I highly recommend you guys do that ASAP, right? The fourth thing that I can recommend you guys is priming. Priming is one of the best parts about my morning routine. And what is it? It's a three step process, right? So one of the things in the morning routine is I come downstairs and the first thing I do is drink a glass of alkaline water. Get the acidity out of my body, get my body hydrated. Your body's been sleeping for seven, eight hours and it's, it's dehydrated. It hasn't had any water in the past seven, eight hours. It needs to be hydrated. So shot a glass of alkaline water and then you're gonna go straight into your priming routine. So it's a three step routine. You start with breathing. So you put your hands up like this, right? You take a deep breath and you blow out throughout your nose, right? Right, this is waking up the body, it's waking up your breathing system, it's getting the blood pumping throughout your body, right? So you do that 10 times for three sets, right? Very important, very important to wake up the body, right? The second thing you're gonna do in priming is you're gonna close your eyes, you're gonna get comfortable, sit very still, and you're gonna start thinking of three things that you're grateful for, right? And it's not important just to think about it. You have to feel it, step into that moment of gratitude in your life, right? So if you're grateful for your kids or your family, step into a moment where you can be grateful for them, right? You know, if you can pick that moment, but really step into it, right? Feel how it felt, see how it looked, right? So listen, I'll put all the senses. You have to step into that moment as if you were actually there and start feeling that gratitude on a whole new level, right? And the third thing you're gonna do about the priming step is visualization. While you are closing your eyes still, right after the gratitude, close your eyes and visualize three things that you'd like to accomplish, right? How would that look like? How would you feel? What kind of person would you have to be to become that, right? So for me, I wanna be a leading expert in high performance, right? one of the best trainers and consultants in the whole world, right? So I can visualize myself stepping on stage and giving a talk to thousands of people. So when I close my eyes and visualize this, I step out on stage and there's thousands of people cheering. There's bright lights, crazy city. It's, you know, it makes me smile. I, I love it, I love it. So when you visualize, step into that moment as if you were there, as if it was happening and you're gonna change your state, you're gonna start feeling good, right? And this gives you an amazing start to your day, right? So that's priming. Breathing, gratitude, visualization. Very important to step into that moment and feel as if it was actually happening, all right? Now, the final thing that I can recommend to you guys, and this is huge, it's someone who is productive secret weapon, all right? And that's scheduling, right? Not only using a calendar, but scheduling in blocks of time. I do this every single day, and I can tell you, since I've started doing this, it has been my absolute best method to be productive. So what I use, I use Google Calendar. Google Calendar is free. Just go up and sign up online. And then not only is it easy to use, but it's very simple. It's easy to understand. You can color code uh, throughout your day based on which time blocks you want to add in. And it syncs up right away with your phone. So you get notifications on your phone, you get notifications on your computer, and you can even install a Chrome extension that allows you to quickly look at your calendar throughout the day. And that's very, very important. So when I have my uh, schedule in, in place, um, I put in things called blocks of time. Now it's very important that you work in moments of purpose, right? So I don't just have work for eight hours a day, right? I have work for 90 minutes, right? And in those 90 minutes, it's uninterrupted, undistracted work periods, right? So I block that in. So throughout the day, depending on what I wanna do that day, I'll have specific time blocks. And it's very important that you deploy ruthless discipline in order to follow those time blocks because those time blocks should be re-engineered or reverse engineered for your high goals in life, right? So you think about the, your most important goals in your life, you reverse engineer them, and then you put those supporting goals into your daily time blocks, all right? Very, very important. So I encourage you to get Google Calendar or get a calendar scheduler of your choice. I use Google Calendar because it's the easiest and it's well, it does the job, all right? So, um, so I highly recommend you guys do that. You're gonna see massive improvements right away, and that's definitely a good thing for your productivity. So, quick recap. We have get better sleep, at least seven to eight hours of uninterrupted, undistracted sleep. Two, move around, exercise, get up, get early, 
get that body moving, right? Work in 90 minute increments. After each 90 minutes, stand up, move around, go for a walk, do some stretching, maybe a quick exercise, right? Up to you. Number three, we have self-reflection. Self-reflection is massively important to make sure we are on the right track for greatness, all right? Number four is priming. Get that breathing going, get that breath moving, right? Do the gratitude, the visualization, step into that moment as if you were there. Really generate the feelings of, of that moment, right? That's the, that's the kick, that's the, the secret trick to all this. Number five, scheduling blocks of time. Majorly important, all right? Um, things that get scheduled are things that get done. It's one of my favorite quotes and it's so true. Right. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you guys like these five tips on how to be more productive, I would love it if you jumped in the comments and let me know what you think. If you had any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm not concerned with how many likes this video gets or how many subscribers I get. It's more so how depth I can go and how many people I can help. So I'd love to talk to you in the comments. I will respond to each and every one. So I appreciate you guys tuning in for this video and we'll see you guys in Thursday's video for another YouTube video.